We don't boondock. Nope. <laughs> like ever. Like ever. <laughs> We've been on the road for just over a year and boondocking really has never even been a part of our plan. No, it wasn't. And people wonder why we don't boondock and the answer is simple. Because Leslie said so. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is so not true. <laughs> I'm kidding. It really is, uh, for us... Um, it just is not practical for us. Yeah, and we have the budget to not have to. So... Yeah. We don't. It not just budget play a role. Some people just love doing it, prefer doing it. Yeah, and you will get better views and better locations if yes. you're boondocking, which um, we're okay with giving that up for the convenience of it. And really, not even just the convenience, it's almost a necessity for us to have full hookups, or at least most hookups. It is. Unless we are willing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars <laughs> making it possible to well, boondock, we can't. And I don't even think I know you're talking about power. You're talking about electricity. Yes. And solar, which yes. we're not going to do because, like you said, it costs thousands and mm. thousands of dollars just to have some extra power. And we have a a generator which will run us a 30 amp, mm -hmm. which will run one air conditioner. It'll run Scouts lights, all the important stuff that we need. But I think our biggest issue is water. Our water to tank ratio <laughs> is the biggest factor why I cannot boon <laughs> it is because like I said we could function off of the power yeah and we can go about a week on black tank so yeah. that's not an issue because we like to stay one to two weeks at a place yeah so we could be okay on black tank we could be okay on power for a week what we won't be okay on is fresh water and filling up our gray water tanks yeah because we only have 66 gallons of, of fresh water mm -hmm. and we like to shower. <laughs> well, not just that. <laughs> it's just, in general, I'm not good at conserving water. I'm just not. Yeah. I mean, it, we would have to go very much into camp mode, which would be disposable only cups, plates, forks. So I'm not doing dishes yeah at, at at least lunch and uh dinners breakfast dishes really aren't a issue we don't eat breakfast but uh conserving that and just being cautious of any other water when you're washing your hands making it real quick you know yeah. to conserve water uh the biggest thing is shower shower is the biggest because because even if we could refill our water um, our gray tanks would fill up. Our gray tanks fill up after a couple of showers each. And laundry. I gotta do laundry. Yeah, and we know there's certain places where you boondock where you can just empty your, your gray tank right there on the ground, and that's okay, but then we'd have to find a, a water source Sorry. to go refill. And I'm not moving the RV to go do that. Exactly. <laughs> so we would be out of water. Our gray tanks would be empty, we'd be out of water, water. <laughs> and we'd have to go fill back up yeah and at only 66 gallons that goes pretty fast it does between showers and laundry it doesn't take long yeah and we can go we can go partial hookups pretty easily so we stayed at in arkansas we stayed at a city park yes. and it had power and water mm -hmm. no dump they had a dump station yes. and so we have the portable dump tank that we were able to empty our gray tanks with Mm -hmm. and 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 take that over the truck on the little little dolly over there and and dump that so that wasn't terrible That's, wasn't fun for no you. it definitely wasn't fun <laughs> but it's doable it is doable so we can and i'd say we could even function on places that just have water as long as there's a dump station station yes and as long as the dump station doesn't isn't ridiculous like we would never try to do it like out at quartzite because the lines for the dump station are just like mm. miles. Yeah. And we wouldn't be taking the whole RV over there to get in line to dump it because right. we don't want to hook it up, take it over there, wait in line for hours, dump it, take it back over, set back up, do that every few days. Yeah. 
that's not realistic and it takes like two trips to empty the to empty the, the portable the portable yeah, tank ours is only what like 20 some the high 20s or 30. it's like 30 and our fresh in our in our gray water tanks are 88 but our kitchen one doesn't fill up that fast it's the it's, it's the bathroom it's the one. bathroom one, so yeah. that's the one that we have to empty and it takes about two trips with the portable tank mm -hmm. and i don't want to wait in the line twice at quartzite no so places like state parks and national parks that have a dump site and water we we could probably work that out yes we could but that's not really boondocking no it's not that's not true boondocking boondocking is like 100 percent nothing no off, power off no water completely. no electric <laughs> no sewer yeah. and you know because of all of those things together we really just it's a convenience thing we don't really want to do it yeah so we really got the we have the we have the champion dual fuel inverter generator mm -hmm. and the purpose that we bought that for was not for boondocking the purpose we bought that for was for like emergency, emergency. situations yeah which we haven't had to use yet luckily because we haven't even taken the thing out and fired <laughs> it up to see how it works <laughs> that'll be another video someday <laughs> So we got to get that thing out and get it hooked up just to make sure and i already know that it will run one ac it will run all of scouts yeah. necessary lights but even that to, to use in boondocking purposes requires good preparation because you either have to bring a bunch of fuel with you to run it or a bunch of propane since it is a dual fuel yeah and we prefer propane over gasoline just because we don't want to carry gasoline and oil in oil yeah and the oils and then the maintenance yeah because well for one we lost a home to fire before so we don't like storing fuel anywhere near our home especially yeah. in a very flammable home now so <laughs> yeah. the less fuel around the better in our <laughs> eyes so we want to go propane well a week boondocking somewhere is going to be a lot of propane yeah. which in itself can be a hazard if with that much <laughs> propane <laughs> make one big boom yeah and so I, w I wouldn't say that we will never boondock no um it will not be a reoccurring no thing it will be a one one here and yeah. one way down there <laughs> and because we plan to stay one week to two weeks at a time and we really i think we can only really truly boondock for a few days, days. it yeah. just screws up our rotation it would it would throw us off our schedules unless you did like um you purposely boondock in two different places yeah if you did back to back so if you did like boondocking in one place for like three days, days and then go dump your tanks, tanks. fill up on water and go then boondock go another three days yeah then it would place. put us back on our schedule exactly but that would take a lot of preparation but we are after the winter we're heading out west and there's a lot of blm land out there yes and so you know we'll never say never um but it would be it would be two different locations in one week. In one week, yes. Yeah. And we, I would definitely have to get this generator out. I'd have to feel <laughs> very comfortable with it. Yeah. Uh, I'd want to make sure that everything was was good. Because the last thing you want to do is be out in the middle of nowhere, boondocking, <laughs> and your generator goes no. out. Yeah. Well, then you're packing it up and going to an RV park. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's really the only other option. Yeah. And, and we didn't want to have to run a generator all day because a scout he will require power yeah and, and his stuff because his his heat lamps take so much energy uh it would drain our batteries pretty quickly right. yeah and his heat lamps have to run for 12 hours every day yeah so that, that's running a generator an awful long time it is so scout is is really the deciding... take a whole <laughs> tank of propane to run it for 12 <laughs> hours <laughs> and that's expensive yeah I mean, it's still less than you would pay at a RV park for camping, probably. Yeah, but, but um, you know, if there is just a place that we really want to camp that you can only do by boondocking, yeah. we may, you know, do that. So we'll never say never, but for now, we're not going to plan it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see it. It'll be a few and far thing if we ever do it. Yeah. And, and it won't be weeks it will be days <laughs> yeah and another thing i'm not really super um happy about is the like the water pressure when we run our water pump yeah so it's not as great as mm -hmm. being hooked up to water so uh when you are using the water pump you don't get that higher pressure shower Mm -hmm. that you need so then i think you have to stay in the shower yeah, even longer. longer especially i think for women because we have hair yeah 
guys, not so much hair, so stuff runs out easily. Yeah, for us it's easy. We we, we turn the thing on. Ours has the little button. Oh, yeah. So you turn the thing on, and you you get wet, and you hit the button, and then you lather up, and you hit turn the water on, you rinse off, you hit the button, and you know you do that, and you don't use that much water, but. You, but that like, be like sucks all the fun out of a nice shower. warm shower <laughs> and it's like it's too much work and it's too much like camping yeah and i'm not into the whole true camping experience <laughs> we don't like camping uh, no i'm not a i'm not a <laughs> real camper i'm just no, not. no we're full-time rv livers we're I not mean, campers. i grew up in orlando florida i'm not a camper yeah we we don't rough it we don't <laughs> And so for you grew up doing those things for fun weekend little trips. Yeah. Like real tent camping and like stuff. Like tents. Yeah. So it's nothing you're a stranger to. Yeah. Totally foreign to me. Doesn't sound fun <laughs> at all. All my luxuries out the window. Like that doesn't sound like a fun time. No. And I would hear about it the whole time. <laughs> so that would Maybe. be fun for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just reminds you here and there of... <laughs> how less fun it is <laughs> it would yeah she says reminds like every two minutes it's water pressure sucks <laughs> can't say water you know i can't use the microwave and the air conditioner at the same time i gotta turn off the ac to cut on the microwave and i won't like, remember to do that either. yeah and there would be blowing circuits yeah. and then all this stuff and i'll be like and i'll be like you know what screw it <laughs> we're hooking up to the rv we're going to the rv park man you know yeah <laughs> Like, it's, I don't care about the awesome mountains behind yeah. us. I'll go park this far uh, away from somebody in an RV park <laughs> to have power and water. Which is why it could only be a few day thing. Yeah. Because I think I could remember mm -hmm. for a day or two. Because we have talked about, like, those places where you can camp on the beach. We've talked about doing that for a couple yeah. of days. That'd be and pretty cool. And I really cool. want to do that. So there's some cool places. We might try it. I don't know. It's we'll going to have to be a phenomenal place, a phenomenal view for me to suck it up yeah grin and bear it <laughs> just for that view that location <laughs> so i can say i did it i was there and i did it <laughs> why, are you, why are you laughing because i'm just picturing you trying to get through the whole boondocking it, it situation hard. if we it's, ever do it it's going to be an entertaining video because <laughs> <laughs> Now everybody's gonna be like, you have to do it now. It could test the strength of our marriage. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'd be like, we're hooking up to the RV, we're going to the RV park. There's it's not no, worth nah. risking it. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you but I can admit, it's, I mean, I know it's not me. Yeah. So why would I torture exactly. all of us when I know it's not in me? Yeah. I mean, so for us, it's not really gonna be our thing, but if you are. I um, wish it could, though. I yeah. wish it could be my thing, yeah. but it's not. It's my my downfall a downfall and i don't see that i could ever overcome that so it's your one and only downfall yeah <laughs> <laughs> the only one i'm gonna admit to <laughs> yeah so we're not boondockers but if you are let us know your boondocking experience and let us know if you think that there's some interesting things that we could do yeah you got maybe, some yeah. tricks to the trade that make it sting a little less yeah and leave them not, in the comments for us not notice as much i yeah. would like i i'd be intrigued yeah but all this all the research we've done we've really just come to the conclusion that it's really just not going to be for us yeah for one if if it was a, a big interest of ours i could i could see us justifying the expense of the solar but i know who I am and I don't keep my vehicles very long let alone the rig it's not gonna be a lifelong rig so why would I put that much money into see? a rig you see like every video she's sneaking in like that <laughs> Ooh, I don't keep things long maybe we need to upgrade the, <laughs> You're the RV longest thing I've ever kept <laughs> hey when you got a classic like this you just don't trade <laughs> just, it in yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> you just called yourself old classic yeah yeah classic but i mean it's true we don't this is not like our lifelong rv so why put so much time and it's money true. into altering it when yeah. it's not gonna be the only rv we own that's true but that seems like a waste i've never even been like the on the solar train 
Yeah, I don't know the, the ins and outs of it. Well, first of all, I've watched a couple of videos and like I don't, I would never install it myself or mm -hmm. even attempt to install it myself. No. I would have somebody else we do it, people. but it's not even an option because it's super expensive and it's just not going to be worth it for us. No. So. Anyway, let us know what your boondocking experiences are. If you love it, hate it, never tried it. If you have some tips and tricks, we'd love to hear those too. Absolutely. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching our shenanigans talking about boondocking. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.